You're listening to the Dental Zone podcast. I'm Dr. Rachel Hall. This is the place that supports you to understand your dental issues, the causes and how to prevent them, empowering each individual to get the most out of life while bearing a stunning smile. Hello, I'm Dr. Rachel Hall, holistic dentist from Brisbane, Australia. Thank you for joining me in the Dental Zone podcast and for tuning in and listening to this week's episode. Today, I'm going to be talking about quite a controversial topic when it comes to holistic dentistry, some that does divide and separates holistic dentists on opinion and whether we should or shouldn't actually be doing root canal, whether we should offer that to our patients or not, whether we should be telling our patients to have root canal teeth removed, or whether it is still safe to do. And look, after 20 odd years of researching and asking questions, speaking to people from different branches of functional integrative medicine, science, naturopathy, and all the different aspects of health and well-being that I could imagine, I tend to sit a little bit on the fence with this one. So where it's appropriate, we still offer root canal treatment and there are times when we won't advocate it. So to find out more, let's get in the zone. I'm a holistic dentist and I wanted to talk to you about the issue of root canal because this has been a very hot topic recently. I'm getting a lot of patients coming in and asking questions, getting a lot of emails and messages on Facebook and social media. So I thought it was just simpler after sending out several emails, um, contacting all our patients, it was just simpler to address the issue. And so today I'm going to talk about are root canals killing us based on Root Cause the movie aired on Netflix. So I'm going to just take a little bit of time to introduce myself. I'm a holistic dentist. I run Evolve Dental Healing in Kenmore in Brisbane. And it's my goal to help empower patients to make really informed choices about their dental care and understand the impact between their dental health and their overall health and well-being. So as a holistic dentist, I'm not an advocate of amalgam mercury-based fillings and I don't support fluoride either. When it comes to root canal treatment though, I have sat on the fence for many years and there's a lot of holistic dentists who will not do root canal and don't recommend them and tell you you should have your teeth out if you have them. However, I have done a lot of researching, a lot of reading, a lot of asking questions over the almost 20 years that I've been working holistically and I just simply can't find enough categoric evidence to make it a real straight black and white decision to say to my patients, don't have a root canal or do have one. So as a holistic dentist, I have done my fair share of root fillings. I was conventionally trained and I still refer my patients for root canal with a root canal specialist so they can get the best possible result if that is what is needed to help them save a tooth. And in that decision, we weigh up all the pros and cons, all the pluses and minuses around keeping a tooth or not keeping a tooth. But what frightens me and what makes me very nervous is there is so much fear mongering and a lot of misinformation going on out there that people are not making their decisions based on logic and common sense and what is best and right for them. So I'm going to get started. Root cause the movie. I'm going to talk about that. And are root canals killing us? Are they giving us cancer? Should we have them? Should we not have them? Netflix aired a movie called Root Cause. Um, I believe that it has been recently taken down. I did get a chance to watch it, if only once and briefly. And the major dental organizations, particularly in the U.S., have caused an uproar about the movie. So the American Association of Endodontists, which is what you call a root canal specialist, the American Dental Association, and the American Association of Dental Research. As far as I'm aware, they all requested for the movie to be took down because it is so misleading. Now, 
I'm not a member of any dental association other than holistic ones. I am not a member of the Australian Dental Association because I don't necessarily agree or buy into everything that they teach and stand for. When I was a dentist in the UK before I was holistic, I was also not a member of the British Dental Association because there were things I just didn't see as aligning to my own values. Now, I've heard so much about this movie and I was quite intrigued. And it was an Australian made movie and apparently one of my patients even knows the guy who was the director or producer or something like that. So I'm you know, quite near to what's happening here. And the amount of phone calls, emails, messages that my team and I have had regarding people's fears now, and I say fears genuinely, not just concerns and questions, but their fears over having a root canal. And look, whenever we talk about root canals as a dentist, you're either going to be loved or hated. And, you know, I can't please both sides of the argument. But what I can do is put forward some logic and some common sense and let you make your own decisions. So, you know, we can look at the movie from the perspective of free speech and people can say what they like and you know that's okay and it's all well and good but I wanted to look at the movie from my perspective as a holistic dentist and as a traditionally trained dentist I'm going to add that you know I'm really committed to there being evidence-based that it's science proven and this is what I base my decisions on in my holistic dental practice when it comes to natural dental health holistic dentistry, oral health. And I think it pays to still be a bit sceptical and a bit, oh, maybe I should take that with a pinch of salt. But, you know, it's good to have people talking about their dental health. Let's have more movies about dentistry. I mean, I know all the dentists will watch them. But, you know, if there's one good thing that's come out of root cause, that is that people are questioning whether there is a link to their overall health and their dental health. And yes, there is. It's been proven over and over again that gum disease is linked to things like heart disease, diabetes, cancer, Alzheimer's, that mercury from your fillings actually leaks and gases out. And then you are exposed to mercury, which is highly toxic. But let's talk about root cause. Let's talk about root fillings. You know, I've seen and read a lot of articles recently, root cause the movie debunked, is your root filling causing cancer. And I found a lot of the information that was in the movie to be questionable, to be really, where are you getting that from? And some of that information is quite limited. It's like people have clutched at straws, jumped to a conclusion and then gone, ergo, root canals are bad. So I watched the film. And I'll share with you what I thought was on the money, what I thought was questionable, what I thought was, oh my gosh, really, I can't believe they're saying it. And to some extent, some of it I will say was unethical. Yes, I'm going to go that far. So are root canals making us sick or worse? Are they killing us? So let's look at what Root Cause the movie was about, because if you haven't watched it, you won't know. And if you haven't watched it, it doesn't look like you're going to get the chance to, because as far as I can see, Netflix have pulled it. Well, basically, it's kind of a bit of a documentary or maybe a, a mockumentary um, following a filmmaker that was a, a reenactment of about 10, 11 years of this guy's life. So this guy, Fraser Bailey, shares his experiences, including what happened having a root canal. Now, this happened following a punch in the face that caused a concussion. And the guy fell, you know, and made him fall into quite an unwell state. The, the guy ended up with a lot of health issues. And Bailey describes his time as being, you know, disabled, being invalided, you know, and he was searching for answers, as you would if you suddenly got um, very unwell. So he, this guy looked for medical answers, he looked for emotional, he did spiritual stuff, nutritional, and you know, he was, I, I, I'm not discrediting him and saying that he wasn't in pain and that he wasn't suffering, you know, and according to him, for this entire decade, 
it took somebody to point out that he'd got a failed root filling and that that was his problem and that he had all these diagnostic tests done and was determined that it was the root filling that was making him tired, making him depressed and generally unwell, even though in my opinion he was showing symptoms of burnout. Um, and we don't know what his health was like before, but he was saying he was pretty fit and well. Then what happens is there's a lot of interviews with so-called experts um, who have got a lot of letters behind their names and sound, you know, very like they've got great credentials and we should listen to them. Um, and th there seems to be a lot of credence given to these experts, you know, and there's extreme claims made throughout the movie. And to me, these are quite startling. And I'm like, how can you say that? Where is the evidence? And I'm really concerned now that there's going to be hundreds, if not thousands of people making themselves ill with worry about having root fillings or they're taking drastic measures and they're getting perfectly sound teeth taken out. So there's one expert called Dr. Dawn Ewing and she connects um, root canals with breast cancer in a way that I find quite disturbing, saying that 97 or 98% of breast cancer patients have had a root canal on the same side of the cancer. Well, there are millions, if not billions of people walking around with root filled teeth who don't have cancer, who are perfectly fit and well. And out of those women with breast cancer, how many of them have eaten a burger, had fast food, drunk a can of Coke, smoked, had alcohol, um, have got emotional challenges, are stressed, have got poor nutrition. I could say 98% of women who've got breast cancer ate an apple. But does that mean the apple was the cause of their breast cancer? We have no scientific proof. But yet, this is what's being said about root canal. Then there was an expert who insists that his patients who have chronic systemic disease, it's got to be coming from their root canal, that that's the cause. Well, this documentary raises many questions for patients who have or might need root canals. And I'm going to take you through what the movie says and what facts were or weren't proven. Is the root canal the movie accurate? What what was said and what is true. Let me say this. As far as I'm concerned, root canal is a treatment that we should still be offering. It's very helpful for the vast majority of patients who get them. It allows them to save teeth, it allows them to avoid complicated and invasive dentistry. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because, you know, oh, you're a dentist, you're just trying to profit off people. I'm not that way. I'm saying it too because if you need a root canal, I don't want fear and being scared from a movie um, that gets in the way of you having the work that you need. And I don't want you running around ending up having loads of extractions and then having dental problems and being depressed and upset that this is what you had done when maybe it wasn't necessary. So there were a few things that the movie was correct about. For one, as I've said over and over until I'm blue in the face and I've made a lot of videos on this, there is a link between what happens in your mouth and what happens in your body. And I've been saying that for years and it's understood by many doctors and many dentists everywhere about how the overall health of the body and the mouth are linked. There aren't two separate parts. This is part of the whole and whatever goes on in here does have an impact. The same blood that throws, flows through your teeth and gums flows around the rest of your body. So there is a mouth-body connection. One of the clearest ways that we see this play out in dentistry is the link between gum disease and diseases like diabetes and heart disease. There's definitely a link there. It's a chicken and egg thing. Does one cause the other? Or does gum disease cause that? We don't know, but there is definitely a link. And if your gum disease isn't controlled well, your diabetes and your blood sugar levels are harder to ma manage. Another true point in the movie is that no root canal is 100% clean. We cannot sterilize the root canal system. There are major canals 
which we can access and we can clean out, but there are lots of little branch canals that we can't. And this is something that we in holistic dentistry will admit, so does mainstream dentistry and so do the root canal specialists. When you have that root canal done, there are all these little tubules, the little side canals that can potentially host bacteria. Now, do these bacteria overgrow and escape into the bloodstream and cause infection? This is the question. This is the gray area. You know, this is where we can't be 100% certain. Do these bacteria, however, cause all the forms of chronic disease as stated in Root Cause the movie? So what are the dangers of root canal? Well, the danger is that it's going to fail. There could be a micro crack or a fracture in the tooth. There could be an additional canal. Um, it could not be done very well, and that's why I don't do them anymore. I use a specialist to make sure they're done to the best um, possible standard. And so the most potential problem that we see and the most common problem we see is you can get an abscess or a cyst around the tooth. This happens when bacteria are left in the tubes, in the side walls, and the, they grow throughout the tooth and they damage the support tissue. These bacteria could possibly and can cause symptoms that can get into your bloodstream. But apparently this is quite rare. Most likely the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to get an infection and pain around the tooth. It's unlikely, but it does happen that you won't get some discomfort or um, dental symptoms that will point in the direction of the dentist having to investigate your root canal. Now we routinely in my practice, x-ray root canal teeth very regularly to pick up on any of these changes and we also test the teeth to the best of our ability. So let's look at some things where I'm like, whoa, hang on, is that a fact or not? What did they get right and what did they get wrong? Well, first of all, <coughs> excuse me, 98% of women with breast cancer have a root canal on the same side as their offending breast. Well, that may be the case. But does that mean there's a cause and effect? There's no science, scientific evidence that I've found or that I've seen that supports the theory that the root canal is the cause of the breast cancer. I'm unable to find any review that includes the statistics that are being stated. You know, it, they're trying to base it on meridian and meridian systems, and it's not a proven scientific fact. And I'm not going to challenge here what traditional Chinese medicine is saying. You know, the, you know, it's not an argument that we're going to get into. But there's no solid proof that what they're stating, 98% of women with breast cancer have a root canal treatment. That might be a true statement, but is there a cause and effect? And for me, there's been a lot of sensationalism around this statistic. You know, and there are... A lot of people who have root canal and die of cancer. There's a lot of people who have cancer who've had a root canal, but are the two linked? Not particularly in the way that I think this film is saying, where the, the root canal is the problem. The same predisposing conditions in your body that will rot a tooth, the hardest thing in your body, are the same conditions that predispose your system to things like cancer, so that's being acidic, too much sugar, poor nutrition, stress levels. Those things create inflammation and create a breeding ground for cancer cells as well as tooth decay. Then in the movie, they stated that the number one cause of heart attack is a root canal tooth. Again, how can there be a specific cause and effect correlation? I could not find any scientific evidence, nothing published, nothing to prove this claim. In fact, what I could find points to things being in the opposite direction, where I found studies that said 50% of patients with major heart disease had <clears throat> higher extractions of teeth. You know, I, I couldn't really find something that said keeping your teeth and by having root canal was putting you more at risk of heart disease. You know, 
it was saying that you're more likely to have heart disease because you've had more teeth pulled out. Now, is that to do with root canal teeth that were pulled out or teeth that were pulled out because of poor gum health? Again, there's not enough research. There is a real connection between mouth bacteria during dental work entering the bloodstream, and this is a heart condition called endocarditis. It's um, very common with people who've already had heart disease or damage to their heart valves, and it happens when bacteria that would normally transfer from your mouth, even just brushing and flossing will cause bacteria to transfer from your mouth and go into your bloodstream. And infective endocarditis happens when the bacteria from in here go in the bloodstream and settle on dead heart tissue and cause an infection. And this is far more common. You know, it's still quite rare, but it's more common with getting a professional dental clean than it is than having a root canal. And, you know, this is why there are a lot of cases for putting patients on a what they call a prophylactic or a preventive um, antibiotic before they're having a deep dental claim done. Another statement that was made was that the biggest toxic influence on the body in a chronically ill person is a root canal tooth. It's true that a failed root canal can lead to infection in very limited number of patients. But where are we getting the proof or the evidence that says that we should believe that all, if not every, chronically ill people, it's because they've got a root filling? You know, or are we saying that everyone with a root canal tooth is going to be chronically ill? Well, I've got patients who are in their 60s, 70s, 80s who are very fit and healthy and have a huge number of root canal teeth. So anecdotally, I don't see the correlation. And then I see people who are really unwell and don't have any root filled teeth or any dental problems for that matter. In fact, when it comes to this connection of the mouth and body, I think we should be more looking at the connection between gum disease and the problems that that presents, the problems of mercury fillings, than the issue of a failed root canal tooth. And look, if a root canal fails, then by all means, get the tooth taken out. A toxic mouth is going to be toxic to the rest of the body, but there's far more evidence around gum disease and how that's connected to chronic illness than anything else. And look, I could be completely off here and maybe the research just hasn't caught up, but I'm saying I find it very worrying that a movie like Root Cause can make the claims that it does with no scientific backing. You know, it says that a root canal is a fatal, fatally full... I can't say that with my braces. Let me slow down a minute. Take a breath. It says that root canal is a fatally flawed procedure. Then, if that's the case, why are so many people with root fillings living healthy, productive lives? There's data that shows that people who have had teeth out have higher chances of many diseases. That research is real. Root cause says that the root canal was invented because wealthy people didn't want to have a decayed tooth appeared. You know, they didn't want to have gaps and look poor. They wanted to get their natural teeth. Well, they were invented to solve three problems. Relief of pain from a decayed tooth, removing the disease or infection inside the internal part of the, the tooth, in the nerve and the blood vessel that's called the pulp, and to preserve the existing tooth rather than extracting it. So there is some truth to that in the movie. However, it's a procedure that's designed to prevent pain. So it's not just basically, you know, because somebody didn't want to have a, a gap. You know, there are options when you have a tooth out. You can get dentures, you can get a bridge, you can have implants. But all these options come with their pros and cons. All of them have problems. You know, maybe they're more problematic than having a root canal. Again, only time will tell. The, the movie also said something along the lines of the vast majority of chronic um, degenerative diseases begin with problems in their mouth, you know, from infections and toxins. You know, the 80 to 90 percent of people are sick because they've got an infected tooth. Now, of course, any dental problem or dental infection needs to be addressed if you want to be healthy. But often you can't just pinpoint it to a tooth. 
it's a chicken and egg thing again. What came first? Were you ill and then the tooth went? We've got to look at that. What are the other causes? What are the other underlying factors? Now, I've been saying for years, and so has holistic dentistry, that the mouth and body are far more interconnected than most dentists and doctors realise. What happens in the mouth also happens in the body. And for me, dental disease is a sign of systemic illness. It is a symptom that something is out of balance. So if you have a degenerative or chronic disease and you've got oral infection, you've got to get that corrected. What I don't think is true is that this sensational one-liner is the evidence to support that 80 to 90% of these people with poor health, it's caused by their tooth. I can't find anything to say that. Now, this is something that gets banded around a lot, that, oh, no other branch of medicine leaves something dead inside of your body. Only dentists do that with root canal. Well, you see this, not the braces, that stuff on the outside of your teeth, it's called enamel, it's dead. The inside of your tooth is mainly dead too. There is a little nerve and blood vessel inside that's alive. See this? My hair? That's dead. Only the follicle is alive. My nail? Also dead. Only this bit's alive. This is dead. So what are we saying here? We can't have dead things. Well, we must take all your teeth out, shave off all your hair and pull out your fingernails. Well, the fact is, you know, they're comparing having a root canal with having a gangren gangrenous foot. Now, if you do have gangrene in your toes or your foot, you must have it amputated because otherwise the gangrene is going to spread and you're going to lose your leg and you're going to lose your life. But this isn't exactly what happens with a tooth. The root canal treatment removes tissue that is inside the tooth, the, the pulp. And what's left behind after this living tissue that is diseased and is no longer going to be living is removed. What's left behind is this, the non-living calcified tooth structure. The remaining tooth can't be remineralized or demineralized like a living tooth, but it means it can't decay like a normal tooth. Yes, they will still decay, but it's in a different process. So this comparison is misleading because a gangrenous foot will continue to die. It will spread infection 100% of the time. On the other hand, a root canal tooth, the structure of itself, the actual enamel and the dentine, can't become infected again. And only a small portion of root canals result in abscesses or cysts that need to be treated. So the claim that no other dead tissue is left in the body is also a bit untrue. Because if you've had um, a mitral valve prolapse, they don't take out the whole thing. They leave a bit of dead heart tissue within the heart that they then graft the valve onto. But unlike your heart, there is, your tooth is actually encapsulated. It's the inside calcified tooth structure. There's no other part of the body that is walled off like that. The anatomy of a tooth versus a gangrenous toe or foot, or foot, very, very different. They're not alike. For me, that comparison does not work. The movie also states that we're going to do anything as dentists to save your tooth, even if it means the patient dies. That is just effing ludicrous. You know, we are healthcare professionals. We don't want patients to die. We don't want patients to be sick. Saying something like that just makes me really mad. You know, that, that is just crazy, crazy talk. We want the best for our patients, whether we're holistic dentists or conventional dentists. We want you to be healthy. We want you to be happy. We want you to have great teeth. We're not going to do something that's going to put your life at risk. It's ludicrous. And making that type of claim really upsets me. It's an unfounded statement. You know, we go through years of training. I went through five and a half years of additional training um, after going through college to get, you know, to get the best way of diagnosing and treating patients. Some dentists go through eight years or more of training to do what they do. And no one's perfect. 
you know, nothing is perfect about dentistry. There's nothing as good or as healthy for you as your own tooth. But, you know, and I've got concerns about a lot of the practices that modern dentistry does. I'm not happy with fluoride. I'm not happy with the use of amalgam fillings. But that doesn't upset me as much as somebody saying that we're willing to, on purpose, knowingly harm our patients, even kill them. That is just fear-mongering to the nth degree, uh, and it doesn't reflect the vast majority of men and women that I know who practice dentistry. I'm trying to help you understand as much as I can without being biased, and some people are going to say I'm biased, and I've based my opinion on what I've read and researched and the opinion I've come to. And this is for you as the layman, as the patient, as the general public, to have as much information at your fingertips as possible so you can make an informed and empowered decision. And look, if you come to me and you say, Rachel, I don't want to have a root canal, I want to have the tooth out, we'll have a conversation. At the end of the day, it's your decision and I will help you one way or the other. Back to the movie. What else did they say? That root canals cause problems such as insomnia, stress, fatigue, depression, anxiety, heart disease and cancer. Now, these are big claims. The facts are that these conditions, these symptoms can happen to people um, and they can be related to your oral health. They can be due to sleep apnea. They can be due to clenching and grinding your teeth, TMJ problems. They can be because you mouth breathe. But we can't say that they're directly related to a root canal filling that's been well done. There are a lot of other causes of insomnia, anxiety, stress and illness that have nothing to do with in your mouth. I have seen over and over again patients coming in wanting answers, hoping that there's a dental problem that we can go, boom, that is your issue. Ta-da, we are now going to fix your 12 years of chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia and all your other health issues that you have. Well, I'm sorry, that's not always the case. And a lot of the time they come in, they've got perfectly nice teeth and gums. So we can go, there's nothing going on dentally. So what I felt was overlooked in this movie was this guy got hit in the head. He had a concussion. He had a, a brain injury. You know, he had a neurological injury. And could it be that his concussion, his brain injury, his brain trauma caused many of the conditions that were listed above that this guy was suffering on? You know... We're jumping to the fact that it was his root canal tooth, but nobody wanted to speak to the point that he'd had a brain injury. That brain inflammation is going to cause all sorts of neurological problems and symptoms, and that needed to be explored. Then there was the talk about using probes that measure biotoxins in teeth and that they were finding um, toxins more dangerous than anything found in nature including botulinum or botulism toxin. Well, in any root canal tooth, just like in your mouth and in your gut and anywhere on your body, there are going to be small amounts of bacteria. But it doesn't necessarily mean that those bacteria are going to be harmful. In fact, a root canal specialist I was talking to just last week was telling me that they've discovered that root canal teeth have their own microbiome and that in most cases that microbiome is helping to keep the tooth healthy so that, yes, there's bacteria, but they're good, supportive bacteria. So again, this adds another layer of complexity. So I will admit, small amounts of bacteria are going to be left in the tooth, but there isn't really clear or categoric evidence to show that these are superbugs or that they're different to any kind of bacteria that you're going to find in your mouth. As for these biotoxins that are more dangerous than anything in nature. Well, botulism is found in um, soil and untreated water. It's not typically found in your body. And if it's found in a root canal tooth, then it can only have gotten there from dirty water. Well, <laughs> as dentists and root canal species, we sterilize all our instruments to hospital grade. We even sterilize the water that we use. So if there's something like botulinum or environmental toxin, the chance of that happening is incredibly slim. Now, 
The movie also says that medical doctors don't pay attention to bodily issues that could be caused by dental problems. I'm going to agree with that. Most doctors have no idea that this is anything other than an opening to the throat. You know, if this is the case, then I'm going to say, yes, root canal, the movie, root cause, the movie, gets this right. If there is an oral infection, it's true that most doctors would not consider this as part of their diagnosis. The same would be true for gum disease, tooth abscess, or any other issues that are going on in the mouth. And that's why I'm going to urge you to consider making sure that you see oral health professionals alongside, you know, looking at that as alongside the health of your body. I mean, if you've got, for example, um, C-reactive protein, which is a marker of inflammation and a, a predictor of your risk for heart disease, then you've got to get your mouth looked at because gum disease elevates C-reactive protein. And the good news is that most patients are going to be aware of the fact that they have a dental problem or an infection, and they're going to work with the dentist to get it treated. And unlike the movie implies, the majority of patients with um, problems or toxins or an infection in their root canal do have some sort of degree of pain symptoms. That's why it's very unlikely, although I have seen it, where a root canal lesion or an abscess can be ignored for years on end. But this happens in patients who, I'll tell you, they come to me. I haven't been the dentist in 15 years, Dr. Rachel. I haven't been the dentist in eight years. I haven't been the dentist in six or seven years. I haven't had x-rays for 15 years. And then we x-ray and they're like, oh, I never knew I had a problem. Well, we don't know how long the infection's been there. Has it been there for 15 years or has it been there for a few months? We don't know. But most of the time they're coming back to the dentist because all of a sudden they've started going, something doesn't feel right. I should go and get that checked. So again, I don't know. But something I've said that we do in our practice is we routinely screen with x-rays root canal teeth. We will get um, dental films done in the chair and if we're concerned, we will get um, 3D x-rays taken as well. Another thing that was said was that we think as dentists that these are just things that we can work on and that we can do any procedure we want and it's not going to impact on the rest of the body. Well, I find that untrue. I actually find it insulting and demeaning of the profession of dentistry. Um, we do care about what goes on. Um, they're not helpful to a discussion about, you know, does root canal kill you? Is it making you sick? Is it giving you cancer? In dental school, we spend years learning anatomy, physiology, biochemistry. We study the physiology of the body. We study pathology. We study pharmacology. We study the effects of dental materials on health. And so we do a degree that is very similar to medicine, except at the same time, we're learning the techniques of surgery on teeth and gums. So the dental curriculum teaches us as dental students about how the oral and dental health impacts on the body. Probably not as much as I'd like to see, but it is required that the dentists are taught these things and it's taught evenly across the board. So across every university in America, for example, they have to have the same standards, same here in Australia and the UK. So that we're getting taught to what is the newest level of science and information. So there's some questions that this brings up, you know, and what I did was go, well, who are these people in this movie? What is their background? What is their credentials for saying what they're saying? And look, what I found is that a lot of these cl clinicians, and this pains me to say it, they've undergone civil and criminal proceedings. They've had litigation against them based on their, their standards of health care. So it makes me wonder, you know, what about all the studies that they were banging on about? Do they exist? Are they true? Are they legitimate? And I was unable to find most of the studies that were mentioned throughout the movie. Um, 
the research just wasn't there. You know, like the 98% of breast cancer patients have a root canal on the same side. I couldn't find any supporting evidence. The I think it was the bale donine method of cancer treatment doesn't recommend cancer, um, doesn't recommend root canal. Well, again, I couldn't find any evidence, but what I could find was a video by Bell and Donine stating that their me- method around root canal and their, their method around, sorry, cancer treatment was misrepresented in the movie. You know, again, for chronic degenerative illnesses, beginning in the math, couldn't find any evidence. Uh, medical problems originating from the math couldn't find any evidence. But what we do know is that there is evidence of oral systemic health problems. But I could not find any single disease saying the sorry, the root cause is root canal. I could not find anything that actually stated that. And that's an oversimplification. And I think it's a misleading thing. Um, you know, there was just so many things that were said that I couldn't find evidence for. I could not find papers. You know, the the nineteen-year-old patient who had the root canal on her front tooth and then stopped getting kidney and bladder infections. Um, again, no supporting evidence. Nothing that I could find. No case studies. Um, you know. This is what upsets me, is that this movie's just gone off and gone, boom, we're going to just tell you all this stuff and people are watching it and they're believing it. And so the the, the toxins, like saying there's botulism in it, again, I couldn't find any evidence. I couldn't find evidence that all root canals are infected. You know, I just couldn't find it. You know, I could see that there was bacteria, but does that mean an infection? I've got bacteria in my mouth. I don't have an infection. I've got bacteria in my gut. I don't have an infection. You know, there was um, a citation saying that the more root canals you have, the higher a chance for a heart attack. Again, I couldn't find anything. But there is a connection between coronary artery disease and having infections in your mouth. So if you've got an untreated diseased tooth, is that more harmful for you than having the root filling done? You know, there's so many things, and I'm, I'm just being mindful of the time. I've do got to get back to work, but the key takeaways, let's, let's do that. I've banged on. I've tried to cover as much stuff. I've had to rush through it a little bit. Um, hopefully, I've given you some food for thought. Well, are you going to believe it or don't believe it? At the end of the day, it's your choice. It's your decision. It's not up to me. I'm not trying to persuade you one way or the other, even if it may seem that way. Uh, The underlying causative factor of chronic diseases, illnesses, you know, health conditions are a lot more complicated than a failed root fling. Gee, I bloody wish it was just a failed root fling and we could go, let's take that tooth out and you're going to be well. I'm afraid that's not the case. Yes, it's true that some bacteria from the root canal can make its way into your bloodstream. Does it cause infection in a very small amount of cases? The root canal cancer connection, it's a very weak. And I believe it's non-existent. Other claims about things like heart disease, depression and other conditions for me, they have no legitimate science behind them. But what I've been pleased about with this is that Finally, someone's starting to talk about holistic dentistry, but I was extremely disappointed in what I saw. Now, if your dentist tells you to get a root canal, I want you to have an informed conversation with him or her about your your options and what the risks are involved. You shouldn't have this scary voice that you've got from watching a movie in the back of your head telling you you're going to get breast cancer if you do have one, because in my opinion, they don't. And look, like everything in health, prevention is going to be the best medicine. You know, I want you to eat a diet and have a lifestyle that's going to reduce your risk for cavities and prevent you from ever needing to have a root canal and prevent this from ever being an issue. Get regular dental checks so we can pick things up early and treat them before they become a problem. By the time your tooth's painful, your nerve is already getting damaged. I don't want you to fear if you do need a root canal. A very skilled dentist or a highly qualified root canal specialist called an endodontist 
can help you preserve tooth structure without having to lose a tooth, look at expensive replacements like bridges or implants, which have their own issues as well. I'm going to say I believe that the movie talked a lot of unproven and junky science. There was a lot of anecdotal stories without details, and I felt that it was fear-mongering information, um, and a lot of the claims were not based on scientific fact. Now, science doesn't always get it right. Evidence-based science has been proven wrong many a time. But until that research, until that evidence is there, then we need to err on the side of caution. So my professional take on that is that if you need to have a root canal or you've got root canals, I want you to be aware that they're very unlikely to be a source of disease. But heed this. If you ended up with a root canal for any other reason other than you got trauma, you know, you got hit in the mouth or the tooth got damaged by an accident, then use this as a warning sign. That it's a warning sign that your diet and your lifestyle habits are creating conditions that cause tooth decay. The same conditions that are going to set you up for chronic diseases later in your life. Because the same conditions that put you at risk for tooth decay and dental disease are the same conditions that put you more at risk for things like cardio cardiovascular disease, metabolic syndrome, and yes, even cancer. So if your body is acidic, it's poorly nourished, it's stressed, it's inflamed, you will get more tooth decay, you will get more gum disease, you will be more at risk of getting systemic health issues like cancer. So before you blame your tooth, I want you to have a really good look at your nutrition and your lifestyle first. Root Cause the movie, it has been taken down. You might be able to find it somewhere and watch it for yourself. But for me, there was just not the evidence there. And I don't want you to make your decision on whether you get a root canal or not, or whether you keep a root canal tooth or not, just purely on what's presented in this movie. I want to encourage you to do your own research and reading, ask good questions and make your decision based on the facts that you have. So thank you very much for listening. This is the Dental Zone podcast. I'm Dr. Rachel Hall, holistic dentist from Brisbane, Australia. I hope that you found this useful and that this provides you with a resource to help you make your decisions if you're ever faced with the fact that you have a root canal or you need to have one. If you'd like to book an appointment with me, my number is 0737201811 or you can jump on over to holisticdentistry.au to find out more. Thank you so much once again and until next time, stay in the zone. You've been listening to the Dental Zone podcast with Dr. Rachel Hall. For health, lifestyle, fitness and a great smile, get in the zone.